In hope, in prayer, we find ourselves here. In hope, in prayer, we're right here. In hope, in prayer, we find ourselves here. In hope, in prayer, we're right here. We rise, humbly hearted, rise, won't be divided, rise, with spirit to guide us, rise, in hope, in prayer. We find ourselves here in hope, in prayer. We're right here in hope, in prayer. We find ourselves here in hope, in prayer. We're right here and we rise up from the wreckage, rise, with tears and with courage, rise, fighting for life we rise, in hope, in prayer, we find ourselves here, in hope, in prayer, we're right here in hope, in prayer. We find ourselves here in hope, in prayer. We're right here. My name is Joanna Samuels, and I'm proud to serve as the CEO of the Marlene Meyerson JCC Manhattan. We come together this evening as an Upper West Side Jewish community to mark this moment and to hold its complexity. We are grateful beyond measure that Rabbi Charlie Citron Walker and the hostages that were held at Congregation Beth Israel in Colleyville, Texas were freed unharmed. Thank God. We are grateful for the swift and expert work of law enforcement from Texas to Washington, D.C., who oversaw the safe release of the hostages. We are grateful, too, for the outpouring of support from all levels of government, including Assembly Member Linda Rosenthal, who has joined this program tonight, and from faith communities throughout the country. We do not take this support for granted. And yet, in our gratitude that this horrific situation ended with all those who were held captive emerging safely, we must clearly and plainly state the obvious. This is frightening. This shakes us to our core. And so along with our collective sigh of relief, we continue to draw in our breaths with anxiety and despair. We are together this evening also holding fear and holding trauma. We ask ourselves unanswerable questions. How will those who were held hostage for those 11 hours, how will they and their families recover? How will we in our heightened state of anxiety how will we ensure the physical safety and the emotional safety that allows us to be spiritually present before God in community? We seek to answer those questions, perhaps not with words, but with actions. The action of coming together today as a community in solidarity and in support the action of making our voices heard in this nation, the action 
of drawing in God's holy presence with every breath we take and the action of living our lives with pride because how proud we ought to be for who we are. We answer these questions most of all together as Am Yisrael, as one people. Hashem oz le'amo yitain, Hashem yivarech et amo v'shalom. May God grant God's people strength. May God grant God's people peace. Thank you. My name is Shaul Robinson. I'm the rabbi of Lincoln Square Synagogue in the Upper West Side. I want to thank Rabbi Samuels, JCC, Megan Whitman, everybody involved in arranging tonight's program. Yesterday afternoon when I came to Shul for Mincha and I saw anti-terrorist police explain to me what was happening in Texas, our deepest, deepest fears that we would see, God forbid, another Pittsburgh, another Poe, another Monsi, yet one more example, not just of Jews and prayer in America attacked, but God forbid the worst outcome. And thank God yesterday we witnessed an Entebbe of sorts, the salvation. Thank God, thanks to the security forces, the FBI, and God to all of those who help keep us in America safe, the Jewish community under considerable challenge. It's a heartbreaking and terrifying moment to know and to be reminded that still, still, Jews at prayer can be targeted, can be the victims and the targets of other people's hatred, deepest prejudices, and violent instincts. Still, thank God, all of those held captive were saved, their lives were saved, and today as well as expressing our solidarity for each other, our determination not to give up one iota of our way of life in the face of threat, we must also express our deepest, deepest gratitude to those who saved and to the Almighty, to Shemit Barach. I'm going to recite a psalm of thanksgiving, Psalm 100. I want to share a Torah reflection in the parasha, the Torah reading of yesterday, that indeed the Jews of Colville, Texas would have been reading when the service was attacked, we read of Shirat Hayam, the song of the splitting of the sea, the great moment of Az Yashir. And it's fascinating and maybe troubling to note. Before they sang a song of triumph, the Jewish people wanted to go back to Egypt. After they sang the song of triumph, the Jewish people still wanted to go back to Egypt. If you wait for everything to be perfect, if you fail to note the miracles that happen, even against the backgrounds of profound challenge, will never sing. So as well as demanding an end to hatred and praying and campaigning and advocating for safety and security, we also, we also have to sing a profound song of gratitude to the Almighty for saving the lives of so many individuals yesterday. I'm going to recite first in Hebrew and then in an English, Psalm 100. Mizmor le toda, hariu la donai kola arets, if du et adonai besimcha, ulefana bernana, the uki adonai hu elohim hu asanu velo anachnu, amov et son marito, ba ushara betoda, hatserota petila, hodulo bahu shemo, kitov adonai liolam chazdo, vi ador vedor emunato. The psalm for giving thanks. Let all the world call out to God, serve God with joy, come before him with singing. Know that our God is God, he created us and we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep in his care. Come into his gate with thanks, his courtyards with praise and thank him. Praise his name and thanks for his blessings. For God is good, his love is forever. He keeps his promise to every generation. My name is Rabbi Emily Cohen. I'm the spiritual leader of West End Synagogue, just up the street from Lincoln Square. And like all of you, I'm grateful to be here in community, grateful to the JCC for putting together this event and for including all of us. And like you, I spent 
the end of my Shabbat in horror. I received a text from my cantor perhaps an hour before Havdalah, letting me know what had happened. And I watched the news and saw everything as it, as it continued to occur. And I felt so deeply afraid for the people in that synagogue, for my colleague, and at the same time, afraid of what it meant for all of us going forward. And as I wrote a note to my synagogue, the kind of note that rabbis all across this country wrote that none of us wished to write, and as I spoke with friends and colleagues from coast to coast, I found myself thinking back to my own Shabbat morning service when we chanted the Song of the Sea and remembered this moment when the Israelites walked from narrowness to expansiveness, going from slavery to freedom. It was all of us, Israelites of every gender, of every color, of every background, of every socioeconomic level, of every kind of practice. All of us walking hand by hand through the waters when we didn't know if the waters were going to come crashing down on us at any moment. And somehow, with faith, with care, with trust in the divine above and the divine within, we walked through the waters to the other side not without darkness, not without risk, but with hope that we would make it to a world built from love and possibility and redemption. It's natural to be terrified right now, but I believe that we as a people are strongest when we embrace our mixed multitude when we go to Shabbat services next Saturday morning, whether that be online or in person, and we say a great hearty thank you to everyone that makes our people our people. Know that you are not alone. None of us are alone in this. We are stronger in community. We are stronger together, and we will make a safer world built on trust. Every Friday night, my cantor and I sing Sher Yaakov, it's beautiful version of Micha Mocha. And I just want to bring in a few of those words, knowing that no one is like the divine one. No one can compare to that presence adorned in holiness, awesome in praises, acting wondrously. Micha Mocha my daughter, we come nor oh, nor Good evening, everyone. My name is David Ingber, and I'm, I'm also honored to be here tonight and to serve the Romamu community in Manhattan and in Brooklyn. Of course, we're gathered here tonight because gathering together is exactly what we need to do. Gathering together and being with one another and knowing that we're not alone, I think that might have been the first thing that I thought yesterday when I too was texted uh, in the middle of Shabbat by the horrific news. I think my first impulse was to connect with others and say, you're also worried, we're also scared, we're also anxious. And as we all held our breath, it was impossible not, of course, to be in some way back in all of the trauma around Pittsburgh and Poway and Muncie. Impossible not to feel in our bones the intergenerational thousands of years of trauma, of when will they leave us alone, whomever the they might be, as the Haggadah says, in every generation there's someone, there's some of that archetype of the Jews, the synagogue, the sanctuary. It was hard not in my own heart and in my body 
to be shaking not only with my own fear but the fear of my ancestors my my grandfather Al, alex alexander who with my father fled to germany in 1938 it was hard not to go to those places and to wonder what is the end of this and baruch hashem thank god as rabbi robinson said and all of us have been saying there's gratitude there's a a a, a release a gomel a blessing of thanksgiving to the holy one a blessing a blessing of thank god for the courage thank god for for rabbi citron walker and for those who were there and for the fbi and for the first responders thank god for this this song of liberation this song of the sea but in my heart i'm also of course with all of us wondering when will it end when will there finally be an end to hatred against the jews when will there finally be an end to anti-semitism and its unique shape-shifting viral capacity to become so many different things in so many different ways it's a unique expression of hate but we're not alone even as we as jews experience that hate we are together with all of our allies all of our, our friends who have reached out all of our communities of faith that have shown themselves to be with us in this moment i think of course of this past shabbat and the israelites passing through the reed sea and i also of course think about this coming shabbat when in the torah we'll receive revelation at sinai as I told my community yesterday, it's so remarkable to think that before we received Torah at Sinai, we received Torah from a non-Jewish character named Jethro, Yitro, the father-in-law of Moses. As if the Torah was teaching us that Torah can be found everywhere, friendship and commonality can be found across so many different seemingly large divides. We are, of course, celebrating this day, of course, ironically, as the Freedom of Religion Day, of all things. And of course, this weekend is dedicated to the great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who wrote about himself and his own sufferings. He said, as my sufferings mounted, I soon realized that there were two ways in which I could respond to my situation. I could react with bitterness or seek to transform the suffering into a creative force. And he said about himself, I decided, I decided to follow the latter course. That, I think, is the way of our people. To find a way together with friends, with one another, to gather, to remind ourselves that it is true. Anti-Semitism is altogether too real. But the only way forward, the only way forward, is together with one another and with those who are our allies. Psalm 125. Shir Hamalot. Habot Chimba Donai, Kehart Sion, Eloyimot, the Olam Yeshev. Trust God, and you will be as firm as Mount Zion and as enduring. You shall Harim Savivla, Vadonai Savivli Amo, Meatavi Ad Olam. As Jerusalem is circled by hills, so does God ever surround God's people. The rule of villains will not be allowed to compel the righteous to do evil. O oh God, be good to those who are good, to those who are decent. To those whose heart is in the right place. O oh God, but those who stoop to crime, God will let them rue their wrongdoing. Shalom al Yisrael. May there be peace over all of Israel. Amen. Psalm 121. There's English translation I'll read before Cantor Priven offers the song in Hebrew. I scan the hilltops looking for those who would help me, but my real help comes from you, God, who constantly creates heavens and earth. Because you never tire, you will not let us falter. The protector of Israel is ever alert. God does not fall asleep. 
God watches over you like the one who shades you from heat. God is right there at your right hand for you. Not sun madness by day, not lunacy by night. God will shield you from all harm. God will care for your spirit. God will protect you going and coming out from now on and always. Shire la Shomrecha, <laughs> Yomam Hashemesh lo yakeka veyareach alayla Hashem ishmor hamikol ra Ishmor et nafshecha Hashem ishmor tzitecha uvoecha Veata vea my friends thank you for being together with us this this evening over 1000 people are together right now thank you thank you for standing together all of us May we be blessed in our comings. May we be blessed in our goings. May we know shalom, peace, and shlemut, wholeness. Erev tov, and thank you so much. <laughs>